address for Carter Doc McCoy. Good luck, man. Applied for parole on September the 5th of this year. Board met in closed chambers last week. Have you reached a decision regarding Mr. McCoy's request for parole? Request for parole is denied. <laughs> for sale his price I'd like to see Jack Benyon go ahead how are you Mrs. McCoy ready to talk about my husband Mr. Benyon he asked me to come and see you what can I help yes I think you can Mr. Binion will see you the day after tomorrow, 12.30, at the River Walk. Hi, Doc. Hi. Feel okay? I'm a lot better off now than I was an hour ago. Want to drive? My driver's license is expired. <laughs> gotta be kidding not at all just a pleasant way to have lunch this is the only time you and I meet in public any business with me you handle it with him he's my brother half a million dollars brother of the bank director here's a couple of fellas I'd like you to meet Rudy Butler Frank Jackson Mexican visas and passports. They'll be ready. You boys just do your job. Bank guard, 759. He's early. The diversionary explosions are spaced 20 seconds apart. That gives you one minute, 38 seconds before they blow. You got a bank president, you have three tellers. And you got a bank guard. Usually on the right as you come in. Pin him right away. <laughs> seconds. 75. Sixty-five. Fifty, brother.
Where's Jackson? He didn't make it. Neither did you. The bank official states that seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars is taken by three masked men. Okay, drive on. Well, let's just send it, cut back, and get going. You make a deal, you're better off keeping up your end. I don't want to go there. Let's do it my way. Stay here. I want to wrap it up as quick as I can. News said two people killed. Three. Rudy got ambitious. You got him. That's right. What about your wife? She told me no one would get killed. I'm in a hurry, Benyon. And I've always heard what a smart-ass operator you was. Let's examine the situation. One, an extremely attractive woman. And there's a man with political influence. Why should he? A simple reason, McCoy. Let's get down to it. Radio's rapping about 750,000. There's a half a million here. A little more was taken out before. My old lady wants to meet you. A lot of promise. Both. I wouldn't feel. to him, you know. God damn you. McCoy's got a half a million bucks. Mr. Day, coach tickets to El Paso. Leaves in 45 minutes. Kind of tricky, isn't it? still in the station. Fine. Your attention, please. The Lone Star Flyer for Bradfield, El Rio, San Juan, Martha, and El Paso now for the strike time. scratches. Tickets, please. Two, into the line. Mexico, tonight. Two. Sure, Doc, I can do it for you. I got it all here for you. Departure and arrival. All except the 500. Nobody else on the floor. You by yourself. Five fours.
on the rear. Just run away. It's now. Run away! Drive. Sure thing, mister. Straight ahead. Where are we heading? We're going to Mexico. Now don't you worry. I'll cooperate. Buenas tardes. Your destination? Chihuahua City. Uh, building material. Hey, uh, pull over over here, would you? Okay, whatever you say. How much money did you make last year? I reckon about 5000 Suppose I'd give you 10000 for that truck of yours. You serious? I am. And I don't say nothing about the truck, and i never seen either one of the two of you. That's what I want. How about twenty? How about 30? God damn, ma'am, you got a deal. <laughs> now, you're gonna have to walk on back to the border. Don't worry about me. Take care, you hear? Come on. <laughs>